You're live. Hi, this is Carl ProCycle with the first Tech Talk we have. We're going to talk about a popular subject we hear on a lot of phone calls about D-cell pop. Guys with their DR650s, other bikes too, they found when they finally get a proper jet kit, they get a good exhaust system, they're going along. Now when they turn off the throttle, they get a lot of D-cell popping. And it is a concerning noise, but it's really nothing to worry about. To understand how D-cell pop uh, is created, let's take a look at how a carburetor first works especially a BST, one of these vacuum operated carbs, comes standard on the DR650 and a variety of other bikes. When you turn on the throttle, the cable's attached here, what you're doing is you're actually requesting power opening up the butterfly valve here. Nothing is really going to activate until the RPMs and the vacuum picks up and the slide in the back goes up. So the vacuum creates the opening for the slide, the slide goes up, you're going down the road, on and off the throttle, there you are at full throttle and you got the slide all the way up, everything's nice, going along, and at some point you turn off the throttle. You shut the throttle, that a sudden stop of vacuum or a sudden stop of fuel flow into the motor, creating a huge vacuum. What happens is, is that piston, a big 650 single cylinder, is going to suck a lot of fuel and it's going to come right there where I've highlighted in orange through the choke circuit. Now the choke circuit, as I've highlighted here, is also in play with the air fuel mixture screw and the pilot jet. They all work off the same internal veining, and when you chop that throttle, there's a lot of fuel to be sucked through, and right through that hole it comes through. What actually happens is, is it goes through, it goes out the exhaust port, hits the hot exhaust pipe, and it's igniting there. It's nothing that really happens in the motor. Again, it's a not a big concern. It's just very annoying. That's what happens when it goes on with that. Right now, if you've got any questions, Type them in, send us a text, something like that, and we're going to review them as they pop up. We're going to review a couple other things with the carburetor also while we're waiting for a question or two to come in. Again, with the vacuum-operated carbs, they have a diaphragm position-type slide that's on the, the top, and that's what's actually controlling or, or controlled by the vacuum is this piece here slides up and down and you can see it has the rubber diaphragm that pops open and up and down and like I said when you're opening up the throttle valve your cable is actually attached here and you're opening up the butterfly valve you're requesting power and until the vacuum creates and opens this up you're really not going to get what you request it takes like a nanosecond to actually happen but it does happen eventually so as we'll also look through here, one of the other things with the choke cable be attached there, there's a little choke window, and when you're activating the choke, just to give you an update on that, you'll see the little brass plunger pull aside, there, yeah, that's a tight one there, get that out of the way, there we go, it's open up there, it's closed, it's open again, and that's where the fuel flows in, and it comes out through the blue vein right there, that's going to be the airflow for the choke circuit, and again, the choke will pull through, fuel through that little orange hole right there. Any questions so far? Not yet. Feel free to type them in even if you're reviewing this after it is posted and we will answer them um, if anybody at any time has any questions. So again taking a look at how a BST carburetor operates and, and the D-cell pop again a very popular question we get I just put the jet kit on I just got this a TM40 any kind of carburetor with a big single cylinder is going to create that vacuum and it is going to cause D-cell pop it's really not a big concern remember jetting is created for acceleration we don't want to modify or change the jetting so much that we eliminate D-cell pop that can be done but then the acceleration really suffers and usually sometimes the mileage suffers so as they're set from the factory, especially with stock exhaust, the stock exhaust is so muffled off, you never hear the D-cell pop, but it is happening. It's just very quiet, very stifled inside there. Oh, okay, well, we're doing good right now. This is going to wrap up the first tech talk we have. Oh, one more point we just brought to my attention. One way to kind of eliminate D-cell pop, something to kind of take a look at, is when you're on the throttle, and like I said, if you're suddenly chop that throttle that's a sudden shock to the motor and that's what creates that sudden vacuum we found through our own just experimenting testing that if we roll off the throttle if we take a second just to roll it off it's a lesser impact on the motor and it eliminates a huge percentage of d-cell pop potential so as you're you could try that yourself get going along you chop a throttle it pops if you roll it off you'll find it's much much less of a transition and that's a little easier on your nerves so thank you again for coming into pro cycles tech talk Bye-bye. Bye-bye.